This is strawberry shortcake. And yeah, those are Twinkies. And guess what? This recipe only weighs four ounces. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. Hey yo, Jeff Corso, I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. And I'm back in the bushes, or at least in between a couple bushes here in Nashville. And we are here talking about dessert today. And so I was walking around the grocery store recently and I was like, oh man, what's seasonal? I always kind of look for what's seasonal. And we're in springtime, so strawberries really where we're, we're kicking. And I'm like, man, strawberry shortcake sounds really, really good. That would be a really good thing to eat in general. But then I'm like, oh man, and that'd be really nice to have in the back country at the end of a long night. But then I'm like, well, you know, what about the bread? What about the shortcake? Sure, you could pack angel food cakes, probably gonna get smashed, probably doesn't matter. But then, you know, you need whipped cream and like, do you take a can of whipped cream with you? Like, yeah, probably not the best idea. But then I was like, oh man, yes, of course. Twinkies, yes, because they have the shortcake right here and a cream in it. And I haven't had a Twinkie in probably over five years. So, so this is a pretty, so this is a pretty good chance to get reintroduced to Twinkies and use them as a key component to our strawberry shortcake recipe. So here are our other ingredients for our strawberry shortcake for the backcountry. So we've got a two pack of Twinkies that weigh 2.7 ounces. We've got a package of freeze dried strawberries that weigh one ounce. We've got a couple honey packets, which weigh almost nothing. You can also use some sugar packets. And I don't know about you, but I like some crunch and some nuts on my strawberry shortcake. So we're gonna have some almonds on top and I'm gonna show you a quick hack on how to chop almonds for the backcountry or when you don't have a cutting board or a knife. And another ingredient you can use for strawberries if you can't find the freeze dried is weasel some strawberry jam packets from the diner. You might need to get a few, so be careful doing that. But that can also give you that strawberry jam, strawberry sweet experience without having the freeze dried. That looks pretty darn good. I think it's time we try it. And remember, I haven't had a Twinkie in 
I really don't know when the last time I had a Twinkie was, but let's get in here. And I think that's a thing to note about this recipe too, is to make sure that uh, you let the, the, the strawberry jam, strawberry compote uh, cool off just a little bit because it is pretty hot. Oh man, get that creamy inside. There's my bite. Hell yeah. Mm. First get the, the, the nuts on top. The nuts taste nutty, weird. Then I get that, mm. that creaminess. Mm. A little sweet tart from a strawberry. You can make it as sweet as you want. But I kind of like mine in the middle, not too sweet. There's plenty of sugar in the Twinkies too. Mm. Yep, well, that's 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 pretty pretty darn good, and high living for any campsite. But get out there, cook something awesome, elevate your dessert. Boca boca.